There comes a time in everyone's faith where we start having questions and sometimes even doubt. So what do we do when that happens in our children? Or how can we strengthen their faith before it even happens? So today I'm gonna to show you some resources that will help you do just that. Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. And today I wanna to thank Daily Skill Building for choosing me to review their answers on companion book. If you haven't heard of the answers book, I'm gonna show you the PDF version online as well as the companion notebook. This is gonna really help to answer questions for your kids on creation, evolution, and all kinds of stuff that they would really be interested in. I think it's really important for our kids to have a strong foundation in their beliefs, but they need to know why they believe because one day people are gonna start asking them, well, how do you know that's true? Well, what about this? Well, what about that? And some of those people are more knowledgeable about things than your own kids are because your kids just believe because you taught them. So it's really important for your kids to take a scientific look at why they believe, a, a biblical look, and put it in it all together and be able to answer those other people who are trying to rob your children faith from them. So let's look at it now. So this is the PDF file. I print it out as I go along. You can print it all out and have it bound if you want to. This is the company Daily Skill Building. You can check them out at dailyskillbuilding.com. So this companion guide is for the New Answers Book 1. So this is what the New Answers Book looks like. You can get it Kindle or paperback. So it's over 25 questions on creation, evolution, and the Bible. And it answers questions such as, is there really a God? Why shouldn't Christians accept millions of years? Couldn't God have used evolution? Don't creationists deny the laws of nature? Talks about carbon dating and dinosaurs, Noah's Ark and the flood, the ice age, UFOs, archeology. span And then you have your chapter. So you read your chapter. There's different questions like what would we look for? How do we recognize the evidence of intelligence? And then after reading the chapter, it's basically over and then it goes to the second chapter. That's when you need the companion guide. So the companion guide has the same chapters. And after reading each chapter, it says, as you answer the questions in this guide, challenge yourself to understand rather than simply memorize. And so instead of copying answers to complete the work, think about, someone who needs to hear the things that you just learned and how you can communicate that new exciting truth to them. By the time you're finished with this guide, you should be able to answer incredible challenging questions about science, Christianity, evolution, creation, and a host of other topics. When we study to understand rather than memorize other benefits too. So it tells you how to use the guide, checking your answers. Um, and then it has the answer index, And here's the, the questions. Why does it matter if God is eternal? Why does, what does it mean to be omnipotent? Explain the main difference between Richard Dawkins' blind forces of phys physics design argument and William Paley's watchmaker design argument. So they are be able to think for themselves and write down the answers. And when you write, you start to remember things as well. So this has all of the different answers, questions, I mean, for every single chapter. So this is perfect to use as a Bible curriculum for the year, along with your regular Bible study if you guys want to do apologetics for the homeschool year. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Check out Daily Skill Building on the website. I'm going to put a link below. And I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.